Welcome guys, so uh, this is going to be my first attempt at Lord of the Rings Premier Draft. I'm going to go ahead and spend uh, gems on this one. So the uh, theory of Premier Draft, if you can get to 5 wins, you actually um, win back your entry fee. You get 1600 gems. So it's uh, slightly better than sealed in that respect. Usually I play a, a lot of sealed uh, when a new set um, comes out, so I, I thought let's try something a bit different. I've, I've done one sealed event and I went two and three. So yeah, let's, let's dive into this and see how we go. Of course in sealed you get more cards, you get a sort of um, you get six packs, you get a guaranteed three packs when you claim your rewards. So, nine guaranteed rares, basically. Whereas this, I guess you, you can, um, well, it's going to vary quite a lot. But you've, got, you've got three guaranteed rares in the drafting phase. Usually you find you find more rares. I tend to, I tend to rare draft, which um, I think it's, uh, I feel like it's worth it most of the time. This In this particular set, apparently there's quite a few weak rares. So it might put me at a disadvantage, but we'll see. Oh, Hugh the Entwood. So this is definitely not a playable rare. Um, I am gonna, I am gonna stick to my guns. I am just gonna rare draft because um, my theory is you can still get a playable deck even if you rare draft. Right. Look at the uncommons first. Ranger's Firebrand deals two damage and Ring tempts you. It is sorcery speed. It's quite good, I think, that one. Entish Restoration. Sack a land. Get two basic lands. If you control a creature with power four or greater, instead of such a library for up to three basic lands. So that's a. Uh, Interesting, an interesting, interesting ramp card. Shortcut to mushrooms, ring tempts you. And you can pump your creatures. Okay. And then we've got some commons. 16 seconds left, Mordor Trebuchet. I played against, that was quite good. That's a good blue removal card. Okay, let's just take the, the easy two damage card. Book of Mazarbal. Okay, this amasses some orcs. I've, I've made a couple of amass decks already, so that's kind of my comfort zone. I know that that's pretty good. So black and red amass. Uh, Grey Havens, so that scries one. And can mana fix if you've got legendaries in your graveyard. Fog on the Barrow Downs is a... Um, Pacifism effect, so that's quite a good removal card. I'm going to look at these red cards. War Beast of Gorgoroth is pretty good. Shellob's Ambush, that's the one that gives you Death Touch. So this is definitely a struggle because I am sort of looking at all of these cards. Okay, let's take the Amass card. I don't know, think I don't think we pick the best card there, but never mind. Gore bag. Um, so yeah, we could just go black, red, a mass again with gore bag as a decent two drop. Minus one, minus one to all of my opponent's creatures. That's another two drop. One damage to two things. That makes a treasure token. Wizards rockets. Okay, interesting, interesting. So we're taking Gorbag here. Long list of the ants. I think that card is very funny. <laughs> I do like uh, like the flavour of that card. Um, Troll of Kazadum. The swamp cycling. Uh, creature, that's pretty good. I'm probably getting that. Oh, okay, 4-4 Trample. 
Pretty good card. Right, this Rohirrim's pretty good. Okay, you can shuffle, shuffles your library when you use it. That's interesting. Um, we like Troll of Khazadum, I think. Let's go for that. Okay, Mordor Trebuchet. We're definitely going that way. I think it might be time to start picking these up. Uh, like, well, like Haradrim, Spellcaster. Yeah, let's let's make a Trebuchet deck. I, uh, I think. Ooh, a rare Sharky Tyrant of the Shire. Yeah, he's a very very dodgy rare. We'd be missing out on a Trebuchet if we take this guy. But I'm going to stick to my guns. I am going to just red roughed. Oh, good. Nice black red legendary there. And there's another troll there. But we'll take we'll take the legendary. Arrow blade. This is all abilities till end of turn. Interesting. Orcish medicine. Fire of Orthanc. Rush the room. That gives you first strike. I th I think Orcish medicine might be okay. Barrow blade. Uh, maybe that's fine actually. That's costs one. Equips for one. That's pretty reasonable. Another trebuchet. I guess lots of trebuchet, uh, trebuchets are going to be flying around. Let's see if we can get the trebuchet working. Oh, no, okay, it's just going to be trebuchets we get. Okay. Uh, quarrels and discard. Yeah, let's, let's go trebuchets. The black breath. Uh, cast into the fire. Axel target artifact. Wizards rockets. Okay, let's take the black breath. Okay, sure. Okay, what do we have here? Full of care Andros. Uh yes please. That that sounds like a a good finisher in the late game. It's just established that Hugh the Entwood is completely unplayable. Sacrifice any number of lands. Reveal the top X cards of your library where X the number of lands sacrificed. Choose any number of artifact and or land cards. Put all of them onto the battlefield. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that is definitely unplayable. Not sure about the Black Breath. It's sorcery speed as well. Not sure that is going to work. I'm going to take that out just for the moment. If they've, if they've got, if they don't have any one toughness creatures, I'm not sure there's much point in that. Pippin, I am going to red draft. Be interesting to see if I get more res doing this than I would um, playing sealed. Obviously, in sealed, you're guaranteed nine res. I don't have much of a deck yet. Um, uh, target is 23 cards, so we still need 13 more cards for this to work. Okay. Let's have a look. Claim the Precious. Really good common removal card. I think that is the one. Another claim the precious. Yes, please. I'll uh, I'll take that. Okay, Gimli's axe, Gimli's fury. These are both not very good, I think. That's a bit of a ramp card. That tempts you. Um, it's fixing if you want to splash. I think. Sure, let's let's try that out. Let's take another rare as well. Let's see, 13 cards. We need 10 more cards. The, our mana curve is mm, dubious. Lots of three drops with all the trebuchets. Would love to see a few two drops. 
Hello, it's another Ugluck. Uh, is there anything we'd rather have? Morgul Knife Wind's quite good. Um, I'm going to take Ugluck. Maybe I should take the Morgul Knife Wound there, but... I think I'm happy with two Uglucks. That's probably about right. Because we could, we could use a few more 4-drops as well. Cast into the fire. You see, these two drops are just deadly. These, What does that do? One damage to two things. Just... Uh. Okay, Quarrel's End is probably technically better than this. Uh, I'll take the... But it's another three drop. Uh, that's an interesting card. There's Lembus... Oh yeah, great. I like Lembus. Look at that. It draws a card and you scry. Great. That's gonna that is a good two drop. I'll take this blue card. Another cast into the fire guard. Um Yeah. Uh let's take that. And we're doing more, more red drafting. <clears throat> Not sure this quite adds up to a deck yet. Let's see. That is another rare. I, I'm dicing with death here. The rare drafting is out of control, I think. Uh, Old Man Willow. That's quite good. Smite the Deathless is fantastic. Yes, three damage. Yes, please. Yeah. Now we need five more cards. Improvised Club is good, and Haunt of the Dead Marshes is good as well. We need something to sacrifice. We could hope that Haunt of the Dead Marshes wheels around. I'm going to take the Improvised Club. don't really want to play Ent Draft Basin that much. I'll leave that out if I can, I think. So we still need five cards. We could play Fire of War, thank. Grond the Gatebreaker, that's fantastic, okay. Uh, there's also Morgul Knife Wound as a good removal card. I'm tempted to take. Um, I, I'm a fan of Grond, though. I'm going to take more, uh, take it. Okay, yeah, another Ugg Luck. Uh, Shalob's Ambush. Another Troll of Khazad-Doom. I feel like two Uglux is right. Uh, I think we want another Troll. Okay, just three more cards. Let's see. Mordor Master, great. Two drop, draws a card. Fantastic, that's what we want to see. Quite happily take two more of those. Wow, there's so many Uglucks um, flying around. Okay, we'll take a... Oh, that's a rare. Yeah, we'll take a rare. Sure. 
we we can we can get away with it. We 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 only need two more cards. Haradrim Spearmaster. It's another three drop. But sure. Okay, Green with Worm Tongue. Yeah, just another 1 4 blocker basically. Uh, seems appropriate. Yeah, let's let's take uh, Grima. And that's a removal card. I'll take that one. We actually have a bit of a choice. Captain of Umbar. Actually got a pretty decent blue deck as well. Okay. First thing, I'm quite curious to see how many rares I got. Did we get nine or more? Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, simple simple thing here is to do this. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did we get any in the main deck? <laughs> I believe we did. Fool of Ker Andros is rare number nine. Yeah, we got we got nine res. So the same number you'd get from sealed. And we just have to well, we'll see if this deck is uh is playable. We just we don't have enough two drops. That's quite clear, but maybe we uh maybe we get away with it, maybe this set is a bit slower. Um, what would we drop as well? That's a good question. I'm not sure about these equipment cards. Barrow Blade. Lembus lets you scry and draw, which is quite nice. Yeah, I think Grimer Worm Tongue's pretty good. Right, the Trebuchet. Whenever you attack with one or more goblins or orcs, you make a 2 1 construct artifact creature named Ballistic Boulder. Sacrifice it, end of combat. Uh, you could, of course, sacrifice it with Grimer Worm Tongue. You could sacrifice it with impro improvised club as well, but not doesn't work with gore bag. And the reason we might want to play Inherited Envelope is just to just as extra mana for the Fall of Care Andros activation. It costs 8. Pretty good when you can do it. Uh, and also the Trolls of Kazadim costs 6. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, we think I think Black Breath pretty unplayable. It's well, it's kind of a it can punish your opponent for blocking. I suppose they, they might get 
it might get a kill here and there. Fire of all thank might be quite good. And cast into the fire seems pretty terrible as well. It's basically like the black breath. Does one damage. But I think that's that seems like a pretty decent first pass. I guess there's a question whether I, sh I, sh I should be playing Inherited Envelope in this deck. I could think about dropping a land because I've got, I've got two of these Swamp Cyclers. So I could do something like, you know, drop the Swamp, bring in Fire of All Thank if I think, if I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's a pretty decent first pass. I think I'll call that end of part one for now and have a bit of a think about it. Anyway, thanks for watching so far. All right, and I'm back. So uh, I've made one change to the deck. Uh, I decided to just drop Fire of War Thank for Ent Draft Basin. Uh, I think I decided I've got I've already got a few evasion uh, options in the deck. So like the uh, Troll of Khazadum. Um and I just I like the idea of pumping up my creatures with Endraft Basin, especially when I've got quite a few one power creatures. Um I've got what, a Grimer and three trebuchets. So it's quite cheap to pump these guys up. And I suppose this is a, a mana sink in the late game. It's quite helpful just making your creatures a bit bigger. And it's a two drop as well, and I'm, so it's quite quite enticing to pop another two drop in the deck. So I've just got so I'm not actually just so I'm actually doing something on turn two. Um, so I'll give this a try. The deck might be a bit too slow, but that might also be the uh, we'll see we'll see how fast the uh, environment is basically. In the draft, I think I had a couple of chances to grab the um, that. And there's that two mana black card, which seems quite good, like um, quite a good removal card. Okay, we've got Garen. We can get to four land with this uh, hand. We've got two swamp cyclers. We don't have any red, uh, so we can get a grand on turn four, which is a bit slow. Uh, we'll keep it. Yeah, we'll keep it and hope. And hope. Yeah, he's not too fast. He's got a one drop. Okay. That is a bit fast. We actually, yeah, we've got a uh, removal card for turn three. Yeah, if he's, if he's going to be this fast, then... We are going to need that. And we've still got nothing to do. When I kill this, he gets to the... Uh, gets tempted by the ring. Okay, white, red. Well, that's going to be a better target. Beginning of t combat, target creature gains your choice of first strike of vigilance. Okay. Fair enough. It is a fast start. So, uh, one, two, three. What I was worried about. Uh, let's go ahead and cycle this one as well. Uh, 
Right, right. So we have a uh, a two drop Mordor Master, uh, which can. Ah, uh, yeah, right. This will give first strike. I think let's just claim the precious. Two less damage next turn. We don't get to make a ring bearer. Maybe that's the better way of doing it. He has something else. He has a nimble hobbit. Okay, one three. He can pay three when it attacks to tap a creature, so it's going to be quite hard for me to block. Um, Grond won't be able to block anyway. Let's have Gorbag and Mordor Muster. Oh, it finds me a mountain. I should have done that first and played the mountain, but there you go. Will he use the nimble Hobbit ability to tap Gorbag? That's what I'm curious about. He's thinking about some removal. Lost a legend. Nice, okay. So, choose blockers. Uh, I guess kill the 2-1 here. So I'm missing something. Well, he might have a combat trick. Okay, Smite the Deathless can, could kill that one, which is pretty good. I can play my Ugluk. Yeah, I think play Ugluk. Uh, I can't block Nimble Hobbit because he's the ring bearer. But he's uh, sort of stuck on three land at the moment. Another Nimble Hobbit. Okay, yeah, that just gets through. Take a point of damage. Okay. Uh, obviously, can't play another Ugluk because he's a legendary. Would be a bit of a mistake. Um, I would like to do two things this round, but I can't. I think uh, I'm going to do the most aggressive thing, which is play Grond. Um, Well, I could attack, but then he's got these two guys to swing in with. I'm going to play Grond and stay back on defense. So he's getting closer to being able to pump. Uh, oh, no, he can pump with that, because cause this is now a legendary creature. It's only three mana to pump it up. Okay, Mary I haven't seen yet. Oh. It <laughs> has haste. Okay. And he draws a card. Oh. Now, that's exciting. We fit a mountain. <coughs> we can do two things, potentially. Let's see. Uh, orc soldier. Oh, right. I need an army specifically, not just an orc. Okay. Right. Now, let's just think about this, because he's, yeah, that's, that activation is three. It's, it doesn't get 
get that for both um, thingies. Um, okay, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to try killing the ring bearer on my turn. Because that sort of makes sense to me. Um, breaking of the fellowship. Could, now let's hold on to that. Let's build up the board. Let's play a Haradrim. Um, let's crew Grond with you. And let's attack with Grond. Okay. Okay. Oh, he has three colours in his deck, by the way. So, breaking the Fellowship at the moment, we'd only be able to kill... Oh yeah, he can tap down. Tap me down if I have one blocker. That's right. So... We can only kill Esquire of the King. I feel like that might be a very good idea, though. Because that can pump the team. So you're going to deal damage to Esquire of the King. Um, you can be my ring bearer. Uh, I'm going to play you as well. I have to be very careful about my blockers. Yeah, I've probably made a mistake here. I don't think I can attack. I'm actually going to attack with Haradrim Spearmaster, which seems a bit mad, but um, I can only crew Grond with Ugluck. Okay, that's a 4-5. It's pretty serious. Okay, my turn. Okay, interesting. Inherited envelope. So we get to... Um, yeah, the next step. For that. Um, creature to be the ring bearer. So... We could go with this guy. That might make a lot of sense. And... We're going to just send him in. Do we want an end draft basin? I'm going to say yes, we do. Okay, he's going to block. I uh, haven't got any other tricks. Yeah, that should just work. And then he gets pumped up nicely. Okay. Um, okay. Do I play this? It's probably slightly a risky... Activate only as a sorcery. Uh, X equals two. Now he can um, crew Grond, you see. I don't know if that was a good move. If he can make somebody a ring bearer, then I might have a problem. Because my creatures are too big to block a ring bearer. Theoden. Oh, this, this gives double strike, doesn't it? 
that's pretty bad news. Um, double strike whenever something enters battlefield. Okay. Um, I mean, we're in a lot of trouble here. Uh, I've only got two blockers. It looks like I'm taking three damage. And he can uh, tap something down. Oh yeah, that is sorcery speed. I forgot about int draft base and that, that makes it a little bit worse, doesn't it? So for three mana I can... Make that a four five. Okay, it's a relief when he doesn't attack. Oh, Mordor Trebuchet. I had to attack with a goblin to get the uh, the flying stone. But this is another nice blocker. Um, and I'm going to play one. Pump it up. Very hard to attack because it's looking like I just die on the swing back. I can tap something down with this nimble hobbit. Oh no, flyers. Wow. Plus one zero and everything gets first strike. That's, uh, that's bad news. So you're telling me he's got a 5-5 five, five first strike now. Right. Uh, but he's not attacking. Okay. And that's just killing me next turn. I don't have reach. Oh, I do have reach. I do have reach. That's good news. Right. Um... I want to uh, oh uh, five. I'm gonna make him a six six because I can. Um, Okay, well we just died because he got a removal spell to take out my reach creature. Oh, except it's still, is that, yeah, he's only got, no, nah, that's a good point, he's going to take something else out. Uh, yeah, it's tapped. I can crew that though with the pacifism guy. But yeah, we just sort of ran out of blockers here. Uh, 
and you know we had the bigger creatures who just couldn't afford to attack. Lost too many, too much life early on. Okay, so we saw what um, Ent Draft thingy can do. Ent Draft Basin. I think there's an argument that Fires of Orthanc would have been better there. If I could build up enough, enough power on the ground to just one shot my opponent, so none of his, you know, none of his creatures can block. That might be more impactful, I think. That's my argument. So let's try that again. Okay, it's all swamps again. No red. We're having difficulty finding the mountains. Uh, we can get to a fourth swamp. We have a Mordor trebuchet, turn three. I guess we'll keep it. We'll see if we top deck some land. We might not want to cycle the troll too early in case we can actually play it. And turn six. Now well, another fast start. Last last guy was one drop, two drop, three drop. Let's see if this guy's the same. At least we're going first this game. It might buy us a bit more time. Uh, it's a two drop. Okay. Very aggressive. Wow, there's a mountain. Okay. This guy does one damage to each opponent. Uh, so I think um I like I like this book of Mazarbal. I get a one one. Can trade with this two one. That seems quite good. Rosie gives basically something plus one plus one, so that'll be a three two. So then I can't block anymore. Okay, now he's gonna make put it on the menace creature. Okay, sure, I will trade with your two one. And by the way, I have Ranger's Firebrand, which does exactly two damage. So yeah, that seems like a seems like a good time to kill a two-two menace. He gets them, gets the ring to tempt him, and I can play Grimer Worm Tongue, I suppose. Uh, I'm, yeah, I I feel like. We play the worm, Grimer Worm Tongue here. Okay, oh yeah, this guy just draws draws a card basically, doesn't he? Because that's a legendary creature. Uh, yeah, that's 2 4 menace now, that's 3 2 menace. So we'll have a trebuchet. We'll keep the troll. Um, is there a good reason to not attack with Grimer Worm Tongue? I, yeah, I mean, he could get killed and traded off, but that's okay. Okay, he's going to take all that damage. And in the turn.
Rally, like that's two one ones. You get and they get haste. Oh, that's pretty nice. And Rosie can pump up one of them, I guess, because they are tokens coming into play. Whenever you create a token, oh my god, you get a plus one plus one trigger. That's pretty awesome. Oh, a dawn of a new age. This is. I feel like I'm seeing this every game, every other game of limited. People have this. So he's got. He's going to draw four cards off this, by the way. Okay, that's a four three. Okay, no blocks. And just draw a card. Okay, I have Lambus. Um, let's have another Mordor Trebuchet. Let's play our Lambus. We're looking for land number six. Well, that's that's basically land number six. So. Um, And we're attacking with a 2-2, two, two, I guess, so we can trigger our um, trebuchets. Uh, yeah, it didn't give me an option uh, to sacrifice that, that with Grammar Worm Tongue. Another errand rider, so he gets to draw just draw another card. Um, and I haven't done my homework on this set. I'm just wondering, well, what are the chances he's got a combat trick? Because I can triple block here. If you, yeah, you can make a token at instant speed and. and pump it up. But hopefully I'm only losing one creature if he's got the combat trick. Okay, I think that worked. You know, gonna trade off for Grimer. Okay. He's just gonna win with Dawn of a New Age now though. Um, Sorcery speed. Seems stupid to uh, discard a troll. Um, but I've got, I feel like I've got to do something this turn. If I don't draw a land, I'm going to feel pretty silly because I obviously could have easily gone for a land. Uh, Right, Fires of All Thank just destroys an artifact, doesn't it? Gimli's Axe, okay. Plus three, and you can give it Menace. Okay, that's just a 6-2, okay. Uh, I will double block like that and hope he doesn't have a combat trick. I'm going to sac go ahead and sacrifice my food for some life points. And we found the Lumbus again, that's, that's pretty cool. And we'll play our troll. I can blow up that artifact with Fire of Orthanc. Stalwarts tempt the ring. And then that. OK, 
that's pretty good. That's going that, okay, and I now let me just oh, it's got menace of course, yeah, so I can't block it at all. Um I guess he's yeah, he's drawing a card off so the stalwarts are getting bigger, which is a bit uh, a bit scary. Right, um, now he might trade off for the troll, he's on 16 life, I'm not killing him next turn anyway, I suppose. Uh, I suppose this will maybe persuade him to not block the trade, but we'll see. Attack with a troll. Gets through. Play the Lambus. Mounted on top. Oh, we get Grand. Okay. <coughs> Are we just dead though? Because he's got quite a lot of power now on the board. Okay, that's getting banished. It's good he's going for the tapped creature. He's not going for the the win this turn. I, I'm, I'm guessing, anyway. He got a huge number of extra cards. He got four extra cards, didn't he, from Dawn of a New Age. And that's what gained him four extra life. Okay, he had removal for that. And he, so he's still doing nine damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not good. Well, that's the that's the um, the power of card advantage, isn't it? Uh, and he can just pump stuff up because he's making tokens. So I'm taking ten damage. Sure. So basically, we lost to Dawn of a New Hope again. Dawn of a New Age. I mean. Um. We can blow up Gimli's axe. Let's see, we've got six mana. It's at the stage where we just need chump blockers. Grond doesn't do anything because we've got it's a vehicle. Alright, let's block Gimli's axe. Play a chomp blocker. And we're just totally dead, aren't we? Sure. Ridiculous. There's still a 4-1 even without Gimli's uh, axe. <laughs> yeah, why not? Sure. Like 57 damage out of nowhere or something. Minus 36. Okay, sure. Well, this is looking like a 0-3 a start. I suppose this is this is d divine punishment for rare drafting. Nine rares, but... I didn't think that deck was particularly reasonable to come up against. I don't think that was a normal uh, Boros aggro deck. <laughs> I think the first, I feel like the first game was a bit closer. I can't, I've already forgotten what happened. Um, that's right, no, that, the first game I had the draft of the, uh, the end draft thing. And I was on four life. Yeah, I took too much damage early. So both games, yeah, they've had one drop, two drop, three drop, or... One drop, two drop, two drop, that game, I think. So, very fast starts, and I've got a slow deck. And I did go get... I did have the advantage of going first that game. But, 
I feel it's better to just tear off the bandage, get these losses out of the way, and then move on and uh, do something else. So yeah, both yeah both um, first two games it was all swamps with some swamp cycling as well for extra lands. But now we've got actually got both colors of mana. Maybe we can do something. We've got two burn spells. Okay, let's let's give this a shot. So, if they've got the fast start again, we've got the answer here. We are on the draw. Okay, it's not a fast start. How can I play this? Oh, any target, I see. Okay, excuse me. Right. Very scary mushroom wa watchdogs that can uh, grow. I think we kill them now before they're out, they get out of control. Oh, he's got more. Okay. And we could uh, we could just kill these ones as well. Uh, I could just get. Maybe I'll get on the board with these orcs. I might regret this. We'll just we'll see how it goes. Forest cycling. Okay, that's the food dude. That is a sorcery speed thing, feeding those with uh, food. Worth uh, remembering that. Oh wow, he's got a Frodo as well. Okay. Good news, we hit we top deck a land. What's the bigger threat in the long term here? Because uh, he needs triple black to. Yeah, that becomes a two-three life link with two white mana. Um, okay, the aggressive move is to play Ugluk, I think, and attack with a 3-3 three, three Orc army. And we'll just we'll hold all of these answers back and you know, see how he blocks. I think I, yeah, I quite like that idea. I'm going to do it. If he just trades with the with the mushroom watchdogs, that's fine, I think. Okay, no. And I can st I've still got a card that does four damage. If his watchdogs get bigger. Okay, yeah, he's going to use removal on that, fair enough. Now he gets food, so that gets up to four. I get 
Mullard. <laughs> and he has... He has tapped out, which is good news for me. <clears throat> right, my feeling is it's improvised club time to take out the Watchdogs. Which means we've got to play Lambus and sacrifice the Lambus. Quarrels end, discard and draw two, make a 1-1. One, one. Uh, the question is, is a 1-1 is a one, one any use to me at the moment against his guys? I think arguably the 1-1's one, not much good, but it draws me two cards. What would I discard? Do I discard the inherited envelope? No, I don't really want to do that. Uh, right, let's put that to the bottom. Let's put that to the bottom. I'll draw something else. It is a removal card. Oh, that's good. Right, so improvised club, four damage, onto the watchdogs, sacrifice the Lambus. Uh, that shuffles back into my library. And uh, we've got to stay back and block. Unfortunately, there's nothing more to it than that. We are getting... First, yeah, all three games we've just been hammered by early aggro, really. They've, yeah, they've just had... Everyone's had a, a much better curve than me. Um, right, inherited envelope. Uh, I'll grind my worm time. Okay, let's go for inherited envelope. Uh, yeah, two, three. Life link. And I'm thinking carefully uh, here about what to do. Uh, maybe just kill the 4 2 because I've got to trade with that next turn. Food. So this is gonna pump something up. In fact, no, no, it doesn't. It only he only pumps things up the turn he comes into play. That's not so bad then. Um, yeah, I'm on nine life. I'm not confident about this. Uh, oh, he's got no cards in hand. Well, that changes things. So this uh, this guy is gonna basically trade off. I don't think it's a good time to attack. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play my troll and keep everything back. So I want to play both of these cards. I don't want to draw and discard. Oh, I forgot what the Shire does. Oh, nice. It just makes food every turn. Oh, that's pretty good. That's basically three life every turn for, well, five mana, I guess, in total. Okay, Mushroom Watchdogs. Yeah, that's going to get bigger every turn. Third Mushroom Watchdogs we've seen. think that's the only thing that's going to threaten my troll. That might have to be the target. Right. 
right, what? Oh, you can do that multiple times a turn. Of course, right. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we've got to knock out the mushroom watchdogs. It's that simple. Uh, the troll could be my ring bearer, that seems fine. Uh, yeah. Troll swing in, and I'll, I'll keep the army back to defend. And I can get rid of the mountain. Uh, I'll play Grimer Wormtongue as well. So he can't gain life from his food. Oh, that's cruel. We, we win a game. Oh my goodness. This is big. I thought we were nailed on for the 0-3 there. Definitely, my deck is a bit too slow for the format. This is the first... Uh, take-home message from this run, I think. When I was playing sealed, of course, it was slower. People had less... Uh, less control over what was in their their decks, I suppose. Okay, we like lands here. And we've got a two drop, three drop. This is my best opening hand so far. And a removal spell that's, yeah, it's not that good. It only works if they've got two creatures. Yeah, that was another turn one creature, but. He's not played on turn two, which means he's got the... Almost certainly he's got the counter spell. I think that means I'm going to play Roharim, uh, Haradrim Spearmaster, because I want to. I don't want him to counter the Trebuchet. Amazingly, he did not have it, so maybe he's got the burn spell or something. Okay, no, he's got tap target creature, scry one, draw a card. Fair enough. There's other tricks and things. Uh, will he tap out this turn? Yeah. No, not quite. He hasn't quite tapped out. That's not taking two damage. Okay. And well, we could kill his ring bearer, I suppose. Um, I'm going to swing in, play a trebuchet. Okay, right, the ring tempts you. So this is now a uh, draw and discard he gets every time. It's probably worth blowing up the ring bearer now. And that Rohirrim's quite nasty. 4-3 is a bit more than I can deal with. And the other option actually is Quarrels and makes a 1-1. One, one. We can actually double block the Lancer.
this sorcery speed. Ring would tempt me as well. Just take out his ring bearer. Spearmaster or human soldier. Okay, just a second, just a second, what's going on? Uh, right. Yeah, pumping up a creature. Uh, no attacks. Yeah. This is the problem with killing these lancers, they just make somebody else the ring bearer. But I think, well, I can try double blocking. We'll see if he's got a combat trick. Oh, wait. Whenever you're. In fact, uh. Yeah, so we lose both of these creatures to stop his ring bearer, which isn't good, but it it's probably better in the long run that I do, that I do this, I think. Trebuchet goes away. He's now got the, that's the ring bearer. And I now take lots of damage when I get uh, get hit. And what's this? Saruman the White. Oh, four four with Ward two. Is that? I can never see the Ward very clearly. Yeah, Ward two. A mass orcs two. Okay. That's uh, that's challenging. Uh, yeah, so we'll play a look. Uh, we can we can get through with Aradrim Spearmaster. I don't know if there's much point. It's just a case of he might give that menace or something. Uh, let me just check. Can't be blocked creatures by creatures with greater power. So I get through with this. I, I say we do it. Okay. Yeah, block with a 3-3. Three, three. Can he get another ring bearer? And off the grey, okay. So that's that guy's gonna cause me some problems. Um it's just basically got two big creatures as well. Fires of all thank doing nothing. This is what I'm worried about with these cards, because they're quite situational. Uh, hang on, this gives me another, um, yeah. Gives me another ring temp so I can draw and discard. I'd have to chump block these guys, so I may as well swing in, draw and discard, I think. It might give me another chance to find an answer. Yeah, that's, that is another chump blocker, basically. And he can get to 3-3 three, three next turn. Um, yeah, I'm going to try not blocking. <laughs> See if I survive. Then we have a 3-3. Three, three. Maybe we can double block. Um... So I could double block or I could attack and try and draw and discard. It's a shame chomp blocking with a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, 
we're going to try, we're going to swing for the fences, I'm going to try and find an out. Okay, smite the deathless, that's alright. Okay, let's pass to attackers. What does this thing do again? Right, so I'll, have to, I'll pay the ward cost. I think I want to kill Saruman. You can do three damage to each opponent, yeah. So if he has a spell, Gandalf just kills me, unfortunately. So I might have made the wrong choice though. He's got four cards. There's a good chance he's got a spell. Oh wow, he has Bilbo as well. Sure. Um, I'm going to try... Smite the Deathless on Saruman, please. So I'm just dead to Gandalf. Yeah, never mind. Okay, well, we go one and three. It's my first attempt. We did rare draft, nine rares, which might have something to do with the result. <coughs> we were a bit um, underpowered. We we're a bit well. We were a bit slow, I think, in particular. Right. So I think we'll have a look at the deck. Okay, so I think uh, if we just look at the mana curve, I think this is our first problem here. We've got six two drops, and you can see like only one of them is an actual creature. We are playing a mass, so we've got a few spells that make creatures, but it's uh, only ten creature cards. Um, so yeah, got removal, creature, creature, removal, 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 and then a uh, cantrip. Quite like Lembus, that's, that is a very good filler card, I think. Nice to sacrifice to, uh, improvised club. Uh, we did. I think we did get claim the precious once. That was all right. Um, but we didn't get too many of these uh, boulders going with M Mordor Trebuchet. So I felt like I didn't have enough goblins and orcs to attack with. Three orcs in the deck. Quite a few mass cards though. And. Yeah, we saw Book of Mazarbul quite a bit. Didn't see Fall of Ker Andros. Games were not going long enough, I think, for this to actually um, be relevant. Is I was up against uh, pretty aggressive. I think even even the game I won was an aggressive deck. Uh, pretty low to the ground stuff. I think there's a bit of filler in this, definitely a bit of filler in the deck. Um, not sure we need Inherited Envelope here and Quarrel's End. But I guess card draw is, is always nice. Um, if 
Fire of All Thank is a bit dubious, I think. It's, well, it's situational. And I do, I do like these trolls. These are the Swamp, swamp Cycling guys. They're, they're pretty good. Um, look at our other options here. Yeah, there's no other options. No, these, these are not good enough cards to play. Uh, the artifacts, though. Barrow Blade and Draft Basin. Trouble is, we've got we've got a low creature count. Equip sort of equipment cards are not so good when you've got fewer creatures. But you've got to be careful about the number of non-creature, non-removal cards you're playing. But maybe Fire of All Thank is slightly better than Entraft Basin. Anyway. Get a pack. So it's effectively 10 rares from doing that. This cost us 1400 gems. Never mind. Um, it's, it's a first attempt. Right. Uh, I think that is a video, so uh, thanks for watching.